And I'm doing it for my daughter. Harmony Corinne. Uh, Harmony Corinne needs to get drunk right now. Dog me 95 and character driven. How about fuck me 95? Character How about, no, better yet, fuck you 95. How about that? How about that? How about fuck you 95? Uh, character driven indie films devoid of plot. Is Who gives a shit? Kick him in the nuts. Is there merit to making films? Oh, you know what was a crazy movie? Yo, kids. You ever see kids? Wow, they're living on the edge and they've got AIDS. Oh, I just, like, I watched that movie. It, like, blew my mind, dude. I was like, crazy. They got AIDS? But they're, like, skateboarding? Like, what? The movie's just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, gummo? Yo, that movie's crazy. Yo. Whoa. Why don't you just, just watch videos of IEDs going off? Just watch videos of soldiers getting blown up. You know? Yeah. Or make your own movies. Go to the go to the overpass, the local overpass where the bums are sleeping in tents, and find some destitute, toothless <laughs> toothless woman, and um, pay her to suck on a stick like it's a, and film it with a camcorder. But then turn the camcorder like this, and that's really going to be art. How about that? I think what was what was Harmony Korine's movie? The one with the um, the Miami. Florida one. Harmony Korine's probably fine. It's probably good. Um, what did this fucking guy make? Damn, he's 50 years old? Holy shit. Yeah, Spring Breakers. I heard that was good. I think, uh... Uh, we got Fee Diddy with... It's funny. It's like a, um... Listen. Back before... Here's the thing. Back before YouTube and TikTok and LiveLeak were things, this was transformative. It is, it is great. If, you're, if you watched it before the switchover in the era, this is great. You, you don't even know what this stuff is. No. You've never seen Gummo? No, I don't watch okay. movies. Yeah. That's not true. You watch movies. You just don't watch this shit. Yeah, <clears throat> I rarely watch movies. But, um... Hmm... Yeah, no, it's it's good. I like Harmony Korine. Uh, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, that. it's good. I like it. It's, uh... Eh. It just never, it never really... It doesn't do that. It doesn't stick. And the Dog Me 95 stuff and the Lars von Trier. Who's the guy, the guy, the fucking guy? The Tooth... Tooth, old toothless Willie, to old toothless Willie in the white in the lighthouse. Let me look up. I'll figure it out by looking up the worst movie of all fucking time, which is Boondock Saints. And we'll go ahead and do. There was a firefight. Okay, and we're gonna remember that this. Who's this fucking guy? Old toothless Willie, the lighthouse man. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. He's fantastic. He's unbelievable. But we're going to remember that this is the, the greatest actor as we watch this together, okay? They exited out the front door. They had no idea what they were in for. Now they're staring at six men with guns drawn. It was a fucking ambush. This was a fucking bomb dropping on Beaver Claytonville. For a few seconds, this place was Armageddon. Uh, there was a firefight! People get fucking tattoos of this movie.
people get tattoos. Was he doing like this? Some weird yeah. like thing? Yeah, yeah. People get <laughs> tattoos of this movie. Not me. The back, this is the worst movie of all time. It's called The Boondock Saints. And it's like the... Chris, are you paying attention? Yeah, I'm just... It's like the Boston... This movie is like if you're... A, if you want to be a tough guy and you're from Boston, this is your shit right here. Mm-hmm. Okay? This put New England on the fucking map. The guy who made it... It's really... If you, if you want to take the time, if you need something to do, you can look this up on Wikipedia and look up the guy who made it. There's a documentary about what a fuck-up he is. The guy who made it. The whole movie is just, just like... What a, what a drunk Boston guy would think is cool, mm-hmm. and it's not. There's not a single like cool moment in the whole movie, but just like the I, fucking Irish Willie with the six guns, like this fucking music teacher, yeah, this gay, yeah, this like gay music, music teacher from Newton, Massachusetts, who should be teaching you how to like having a kid sit on his lap while he shows him how to play guitar. Instead, he's <laughs> instead he's smoking a, uh, smoking a cigar that's not evenly lit with the rapper still on, and he's got fucking whatever. Um, this was a f- <laughs> what a what a Boston guy thinks is cool. It's so sad. It's like Devil May Cry in Boston. The guy who made this movie, the movie was like a it was a showstopper. Like it made so much money, uh, it got Harvey Weinstein's attention. Really? Harvey, Harvey Weinstein hit up the guy that made this movie, flew him out to Hollywood, started working deals with him. The guy who made this movie, he couldn't he he couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut. For ten, he had to do. He had to go full on South Boston like tough guy in Hollywood. And he was there's a documentary, but there's a he fucked up so bad that there's a documentary about it. He basically got the the golden Harvey Weinstein tap on the shoulder. He goes to L.A. and he immediately like literally becomes this guy that's like um yeah I'm from Boston. We do films right out there. I'm so good. I got Harvey Weinstein to my side. I'm about to remake cinema. Totally. Every film that's made from now on is going to be like a film that I made. I'm the one. Oh, I don't even need Harvey Weinstein. He did this over the course of like two weeks. Oh, wow. Like fully like, t- took, the, took the bridge of bridges and burned it to the ground. It's, it's a pretty awesome story. Who made Boondock Saints? Who made? <laughs> Troy Duffy. Yeah, Troy Duffy, man. Oh, man. He blew it so bad. It was it's, it's the most glorious thing ever. If you, whatever. Um, what was the question? Uh, we get Fee Diddy with 20 bucks. Uh, <laughs> that's funny to go back to. Uh, um, thanks for the pizza. Here's a 20. Oh, yeah. Dog me 95. Oh, Willem, right Def- Willem Dafoe is awesome. It's weird how, um, you know what's weird? Is like, I think a lot of stuff just happens by accident. Like the movie Blade. You know the movie Blade? Yes. The movie Blade is like, it's on paper, it's just more Hollywood crap. There's yeah. nothing, there's nothing auteur or artful or special or artistically significant about the movie Blade. But when it's, when it's made, when it's not on paper, the actual movie, Wesley Snipes' fucking Blade. Blade is a monumental movie. Have you ever seen Blade? No. It's incredible. Blade is massive. It's fucking awesome, man. It's the best. It's weird how that is just accidentally a work of art or like Die Hard 3 or something. But then you, if you're an artist, if you're Lars von Trier and you go to make art and you have Willem Dafoe, who is an amazing actor, what's that one he made with the, when the guy gets his balls stepped on? Lars von Trier filmography. Uh, Antichrist. He made this movie called Antichrist. I mean, I'm sh- I, I would. I haven't watched many of Lars von Trier's films. I'm gonna assume that they all have this vibe to them. He's he's a he's the artist filmmaker. This is the Dogby ninety five guy. He sets out to make a film that is art. He's got Willem Dafoe in it. It's just crap. It's like schlock. It shouldn't exist. You could boil this. Is, this is not. It's not even interesting for one second. It's a piece of shit. This movie's a piece of shit. This movie's a fucking piece of shit, man. And then we're gonna have her scream. Shut up. This is shit. Oh my god. What? Shock value much? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is the pile of shit. 
What you talk about is an obsession. <laughs> So I don't, I don't really care about this type of stuff. I'm sure it's good. I'm sure if you got into this, the art house film stuff, there's stuff to take away from that. And yeah. there's probably stuff Harmony Corinne's made that's you know amazing. Lars von Trier's made stuff that's amazing, I, I would imagine. Or not. But, uh, you know, how, how much time do you have to sift through the junk? Because this thing's three hours long. Yeah. I'm not, I wouldn't even watch this. This is not even worth watching on a plane. No. Okay. Movies are a little bit better on planes, though. You know? This one's not. <laughs> You'll be watching this on a plane. You'll be falling asleep. She's screaming. They're doing the most. She's screaming. There's a pile of, you know, bodies in a tree. They're fucking it. They're, trying, they're, they're throwing the most. Like, on paper, this should be the most interesting stuff. And then she screams. And then blood shoots out. And then they're fucking on a tree. It's, the, the movie's the least interesting. It's not interesting at all. It's junk. It's fucking shit. Boondock Saints 2, straight to DVD. Are you from Boston? If you're not from Boston, I'll kill you. Uh, we get Logan.